Hello there everyone, this is CG Pella here and if you are watching this video then it is evident that you are aware of this limitation of EV that it only allows the volumetrics of cube shaped objects. So for example if I have this spherical round cube and I add a new material to it and remove the surface and instead add a volume scatter to the volume you will see it automatically gets converted into a cube shaped mesh but we don't want that we want to have a spherical uh, volumetrics object so what are we going to do we are going to use a hack and this hack i just discovered like two days ago and i want to share with you guys so the first thing you have to do is add a cube yes so go press shift a to go to your add menu and add a cube the next thing we're going to do is go to edit mode and go to face selection then select the front face and press shift s to get to your cursor menu and select cursor to select it so that our cursor gets to the center of the space now i want this object to get scaled down with respect to the cursor so what i'm going to do i'm going to set the pivot point to 3d cursor with this you can set the pivot point and set it to 3d cursor Next, if you see, you will see that our object get, is getting scaled with respect to the cursor. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to scale it only in the y axis. So press S, Y and 0 0.025 and that looks quite good, yes. And the next thing we are going to do is add a modifier. We are going to add the array modifier and we want the array to be in the y direction. So what we are going to do is switch off the relative and check this constant one and set the y to 0 0.1, yes, 0 0.1 meter and the count to 20, yes, and then set the count 20. The next thing we are going to do is take our object that you want to have the volumetrics select it and add modifier and add a boolean modifier and make sure the operation is set to difference and set the object to the cube you just added the cube with the array and as you can see if i hide the cube our sphere is now sliced up into parts so i will press alt h to unhide my cube the next thing we are going to do is apply a new material to our sphere and then we are going to copy this so to copy this select both the objects and press shift d and hold down control to move them as per the grid now i'm going to move this cube just a little bit like this so that we get alternate bands of this cube. The next thing we are going to do is get them back where they were. So we are going to get it done. So now if I hide the cubes, you will see that we have a sliced up sphere here with alternate bands. And I will just get the light in the front so we can see what's happening. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is add a cube so that we will know if the volumetric is working properly. Add a cube and put it inside this. Maybe rotate it a bit. Oh, wait. Uh, change the pivot point to get more control. And uh, yes, this works. The next thing we're going to do is take our object the one we want the volumetrics to and go down in the materials panel and in this under the settings panel change blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and shadow mode from opaque to none so that we don't get any shadows next uh, get rid of this clear coat sheen tint and specular while ramping up your roughness so that there is no gloss in it all right the next thing you are going to do is set the alpha to something like 0 
and we already have a kind of a volumetrics like line into it. If you rotate the cube, you can see this works in real time in EV. And this is how you get a volumetrics shape in EV. You can also go and change the color if you want to. Go to the material panel and change the color as per your wish. And you will see this actually works quite well. If you move the light, it actually creates real time shadows. And this trick does work with all the objects, including Suzanne and cubes and cylinders and everything. Also, there is one more thing to note before you render your object. That is, before you render your object, you have to make sure that uh, both the cubes have this setting under their properties panel. So select one cube and get into your properties panel and under visibility, switch off show in renders so that it does not actually show in renders and do this to the other cube as well. And yeah, you're good to go. One thing that you have to keep in mind is that even though it produces good results, it is in reality not an actual volume scattering. So it might create some issues in some sort of lighting setups, but if you take care of your lightings, this should be all right and give you really nice results with custom shaped volumetrics in EV. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos like this, then subscribe to CG Fella. And I will see you in the next video.